Meghan Markle has cancelled several planned appearances in New York that had been set for the day after Queen Elizabeth's likely funeral date, as the royal family enters the official mourning for the monarch. The Duchess of Sussex had been scheduled to appear on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon on September 20, the same day she and Prince Harry planned to visit the UN General Assembly in Manhattan. Both appearances have now been nixed, and Markle plans to delay releasing the next episode of her podcast Archetypes, which had been set for release next Tuesday on Spotify. By happenstance, the Queen's death on Thursday came as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were in the midst of a European tour on a public relations blitz. Now, their plans have understandably been put on hold as they mourn leading up to and following the Queen's state funeral. The funeral is expected to be scheduled for September 19 at Westminster Abbey in London, but the official date has not yet been announced. It's unclear whether Markle has already booked another date to appear on The Tonight Show. I don't even know what she was going to talk about, with Fallon, but that's obviously cancelled now. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were together in Frogmore Cottage in Windsor when the Queen's failing health became apparent, but Prince Harry flew alone to Scotland, where she was staying at Balmoral. Prince Harry arrived after the Queen's death had been publicly announced, and returned to Windsor on Friday morning. It's unclear whether Markle plans to remain in the UK for the next 10 days until the funeral, or will fly back to California to tend to her young children before returning for the funeral. Understandably, all members of the royal family have suspended and altered any plans for public appearances as the UK enters a highly choreographed, weeks-long mourning period. In his first public address as the country's new monarch, King Charles III gave the order that a period of royal mourning for the Queen will be observed from now until seven days after her funeral. Royal mourning will be observed by members of the royal family, royal household staff and representatives of the royal household on official duties, together with troops committed to ceremonial duties. On Friday, royal salutes were fired with one round for every year of the Queen's life at 1 p.m. in Hyde Park by the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery. The Queen's casket will soon be taken to the Palace of Holyrood House in Edinburgh, Scotland. It will then be solemnly processed to St Giles Cathedral to lie at rest for 24 hours, with a public viewing. The casket will be flown to London and will lie in state at Westminster Hall for four days, before the state funeral, most likely on September 19. Meghan Markle might not be present for Queen Elizabeth II's funeral. It is not known whether the couple's children, Archie, 3, and Lilibet, 1, who can now use HRH titles after the death of the Queen, while come to Britain for the monarch's state funeral. Despite a reported strained relationship, King Charles expressed his love for Prince Harry and Meghan in first address to the nation as monarch. He made the declaration as he spoke from Buckingham Palace this evening, where he also praised their non-royal lives in California. During his historic address on Friday evening, he said, I want also to express my love for Harry and Meghan as they continue to build their lives overseas and as they continue.